Good day, everyone. Presenting to you my research entitled Comparative Analysis of Financial Reporting of Selected Small and Medium Enterprises, SMEs in Baguio City, Basis for a Financial Planning Model. I am Mariah Pika Klini, PhD in Business Management at Centro Escolar University a licensed professional teacher in Ifugao State University, and I'm currently working on this dissertation paper. The abstract of this research is small and medium enterprises, SMEs, are the lifeblood of country's economy. SMEs activities and transactions are now significantly increasing because of globalization. However, this complexity of transactions need to employ a more formal yet simplified financial reporting standards and financial statement analysis. Studying financial reporting and analysis of SMEs provides baseline information to the people in Baguio City. This study aimed to determine the level of financial reporting compliance and comparative analysis of financial statements of selected SMEs in Baguio City. Descriptive and correlational method was used in the study. Data gathering instrument were sample survey questionnaire and financial reports on 10 selected SMEs. The findings revealed that SMEs financial reporting compliance was not significantly different when grouped as to length of existence, number of employees, asset capitalization, beginning liability, and position. The financial reporting compliance in terms of income, expense, asset, liabilities, equity and earnings per share showed a significant re relationship with financial statement analysis such as profit margin, dividends per share, inventory turnover, and total asset turnover of SMEs using Pearson product moment correlation. A financial planning model was developed and proposed as a tool for financial decision making of SMEs. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has approved the adoption of Philippine Financial Reporting Standards, PFRS, for small and medium-sized entities, SMEs, as part of SEC's rules and regulations for simpler financial reporting. The role of financial reporting is to provide information about financial reports or statements such as financial position and performance complied with accounting standards. So the independent variable here, financial reporting compliance as to financial performance, income expenses, financial position such as asset liabilities equity, presentation of financial statement, inventories, revenue, earnings per share. In the center, we have the moderating variables, which are the small and medium enterprises. So these are the length of existence, number of employees, asset capitalization, beginning liability, position. The, the dependent variables are the financial statement analysis ratio. These are the profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, asset utilization ratio, and debt utilization ratio, market value ratio. And comparing and correlating the two variables such as independent and dependent will come up to a financial planning model. The aim of this study is to develop and propose a financial planning model suitable for SMEs using the financial reporting compliance and financial statement analysis that will serve as the blueprint of SMEs. The research method 
design of this study employed descriptive correlational research, which involved description, analysis, and interpretation of present nature compliance and procedures of selected SMEs in Baguio City. Correlational analysis was also used because it measured the independent variables such as level of financial reporting compliance with that of dependent variables such as profitability ratios, liquidity ratios, asset utilization ratios, debt utilization ratios, and market value ratios of selected SMEs. The participants are um, the total number of corporations found listed with SEC Baguio branch, 324. However, in this study, 10 SMEs were considered as based on the criteria set for SMEs in the study. There are 30 respondents selected from SMEs, which are holding positions such as managers, accountants, and auditors. The result of this study, number one, the profile of the small and medium enterprises. Most of SMEs in Baguio City started business other than 2000s. 40% of population are new business in Baguio City. Majority of the selected SMEs have full-time, have 50 full-time employees, 30% of total population as complied with the number of employees prescribed by SEC. 50% of SMEs from the small enterprises with asset capitalization of 3 million won to 15 million and medium enterprises with asset capitalization of 15 million won and 100 million as prescribed by SEC. The selected small enterprises mostly Beginning liabilities is 15 million to 3 million to 15 million, and the me medium enterprises have 15 million one to 100 million beginning liability. Most of the selected SMEs employed accountants, managers, and auditors. Number two of the result selected SME's level of compliance in financial reporting of financial statement. The summary of mean standard deviation and verbal interpretation of financial reporting compliance of selected SME's. Most of selected SME's moderately complied with financial reporting standard in the presentation and preparation of different financial reporting compliance with an overall mean of 3.31. SMEs in Baguio City moderately complied with financial reporting standards for statement of financial performance in terms of income and expenses, um, statement of financial position in terms of assets, liabilities, and presentation of financial statement, inventories, revenue and earnings per share. This implies that most of the, the SMEs are in compliance with financial reporting standards as prescribed by the SEC. So this indicates that it's a good way of starting a business. Number three, financial statement analysis of selected SMEs using ratio analysis. In profitability ratio, profit margin has decreased, which was not good indicator for return on sales of SMEs. Also, liquidity ratio has decreased, which is not a good indicator of SMEs. The return on assets and return on equity has increased, which is a good indication of profitability in the long run. Receivable turnover, inventory turnover, and total asset turnover has increased, which was good for SMEs ut utilizing assets. Debt to total asset and equity to total asset has increased, which is a good 
financing structure of SMEs. Earnings per share and dividends per share has increased, which is good indication to attract more investors or shareholders. Number four, significant difference in the level of financial reporting compliance when grouped according to business profile. It shows that the SME's level of financial reporting compliance did not significantly differ when grouped according to length of existence, number of employees, asset capitalization, beginning liabilities, and position because the P values are higher than the critical value of 0 0.01. So it's not significant. So regardless of business profile, it does not affect the SME's level of financial reporting compliance. Number five, the relationship between level of financial reporting compliance with the financial statement analysis as seen in the table is that the, as to income, it has positive low correlation yet significant with profit margin, current ratio, inventory turnover, dividends per share. As to expense, it has positive low correlation yet significant with current ratio and inventory turnover. As to assets, it has positive low correlation yet significant with current ratio and inventory turnover, while neg negative correlation yet significant with total asset turnover. Liabilities has negative correlation yet significant with total asset turnover. Equity has positive low correlation yet significant with current ratio, while negative low correlation yet significant with total asset turnover. Earnings per share has positive substantial correlation and significant with current ratio. EPS has low correlation yet significant with inventory turnover and negative correlation yet significant with total asset turnover. Number six is the develop and propose financial planning model for decision making of SMEs in Baguio City. So the figure shows that this is the proposed financial planning model that could help selected SMEs in Baguio City for financial decision making. So the table comprises of financial goals and financial objectives that best fit the significant factors from the financial reporting compliance and the financial statement analysis of selected SMEs based on the previous findings. So as you can see, the circle at the center, it has four financial goals. And these are equity and income maximization in quadrant one, wherein the financial objectives that SMEs must consider are to increase revenue, increase profit margin, increase dividends per share, increase equity financing in order to address or improve their income and even um, sales. On the left side is the quadrant two, where in the financial goal is liabilities utilization, where in SME, um, must consider the financial objectives that they must have to pay off debts first, pay more than the minimum balance, and reduce finance, debt financing. As um, this is stated in the significant uh, variables. In quadrant three, we have the financial goal expense minimization which SMEs must consider the financial objectives that are to reduce labor cost, decrease unit cost, eliminate stagnant inventory in order to minimize expenses. And in quadrant four, SMEs must consider financial goal asset utilization and with financial objectives that 
are to invest in digital technology, accelerate collection, increase inventory turnover, and utilize fixed asset of their businesses. So this is a proposed financial planning model for SMEs tool for their decision making. The conclusion of this study are the selected SMEs in Baguio City started their business recently and they compose different accountants, auditors, owners involved in financial reporting and analysis. They complied with financial reporting standards in terms of income, expense, asset liability, equity, presentation, revenue, inventories, earnings per share in moderation. They found to have better financial statement analysis in terms of return on asset, return on equity, receivable turnover, inventory turnover, total asset turnover, debt to total assets, equity to total assets, earnings per share, and dividends per share. When grouped according to business profile, the selected SMEs financial reporting compliance is not affected regardless of length of existence, number of employees, asset capitalization, beginning liability, and position in their finance. The selected SMEs financial reporting compliance in terms of income, expense, and assets showed a significant relationship with its profit margin and inventory turnover. Their financial reporting compliance in terms of income was found to have a significant relationship with its dividends per share. In addition, their financial reporting compliance in terms of assets, liability, equity, and earnings per share has a significant relationship with its total asset turnover. Thus, the level of compliance in financial reporting of selected SMEs provides reliable and relevant financial information to use to determine what financial ratios to improve. The financial planning model that was developed and proposed as a tool for SMEs in decision-making and management finances of their businesses activities based on financial reporting compliance, which are significant with the financial statement analysis. Thank you very much for listening.